But a car doesn't have to be old-fashioned just because it's old. The original Audi Quattro is now 10, and it's every bit as fast and vibrant and exciting and expensive as it ever was. Designed originally to win rallies, it was the first performance car that successfully mated a powerful engine to full-time four-wheel drive. There have been more successful rally cars, but none has made such an impact. It really did change the face of rallying. Audi pulled out of the sport four years ago, and when they launched the new range of 80s, 90s and coupés, a lot of people thought the proper Quattro had died. Wrong. Truth be told, it nearly did. But such was the strength of feeling, particularly in Britain, that the venerable old warhorse was awarded a stay of execution. Better than that, Audi are still developing it. It's powered now by a 220 horsepower, 20 valve engine, turbocharged, intercooled, 2.3 litres, 5 cylinders. Even with a catalytic converter, it still manages to get from 0 to 60 in 5.9 seconds. But there's an awful lot more to it than that. The original four-wheel drive mechanicals, which split power evenly between the front and rear axles, have been replaced by a far more sophisticated system, which sends power to whichever axle sensors say is best able to handle it. The electronics extend inside with a gaudy instrument binnacle that I don't think is in keeping with a sensible four-seater supercar like this one. Then there's a facility for turning the anti-lock brakes off, Apparently the car stops quicker on snow without ABS. If you want to keep going on snow, there's an electronically lockable differential. However, its use is somewhat negated by fast tyres, which work superbly well in normal conditions, but are quite useless in snow. They're just too wide. The Quattro may have earned its reputation in conditions like these, but the latest version is a real handful. You should have heard my language while we were filming this. Even so, the Quattro has yet to be beaten by any of the imitators which have come along in the past decade. None of them. Indeed, no car covers ground so quickly and so safely. And the same applies even when it's pouring with rain. Even Audi's own attempt to topple it with the new S2 have, by all accounts, failed. Now, in this job, I'm forever being asked a question. Given all the money in the world, what car would I buy? You're looking at it.